Hello students, how are you all there? You look very cheerful and you look very happy. Good for that, right? So students, I would like to start this video of teaching chemistry by saying this important phrase. Don't ever give up. Find a way. If there is a will, there is always a way. Alright students, who am I? I'm Mr. Vijay, your chemistry teacher for the day. What is my background? I've been teaching chemistry for the past 20 years. I'm a graduate from University Layer. Students, what am I doing here? I'm here to see whether if I'm able to help you to understand chemistry better. That's right, students. Understand. Never memorize chemistry. Why? Because memorizing is bad for health. Right? You should understand. If you understand, then you will see that chemistry becomes very easy. That's what I've been doing all this while. And students who attend for my class, they would agree with me that after attending my class, chemistry is absolutely easy. Now, I'm going to go to the third part. If you have watched my first video and my second video, this is my third video now. Today, I'm going to continue with the topic of salt. Now, I'm going to explain to you about testing of salt. Yes, that's right. Qualitative test. So what is this qualitative test? A qualitative test is basically how you identify a particular salt. In exam, they will give you numerous uh, tests and observation. And from those tests done and observation that you have noticed, in other words, they have given to you, you are to narrow down and pinpoint what are the cations and the anions which are found in the particular salt? Okay, so I would urge you, students, please listen until to the end because I'll be giving you some goodies. Okay, and and please do write down whatever important points that I'm telling you so that you can refer later. Okay, sir, let's go to the board. So what I'm going to do today, students, is that. We are going to go through one section because salt, there is two parts, one is cation and anion. So today I am going to teach you how to test for cation. Now one of the most important tests for identifying cation would be the sodium hydroxide test and ammonia solution test. Okay? Now this is one of the most important tests which almost every year comes out in SPM examination. So many of you all have problem because you refer to the reference books and the tables are given there and you are required to memorize. So out there if you listen to many people, they will tell you, just memorize. Okay? And I'm going to tell you, do not do that. Because if you were to memorize, your holding power would be very less and you tend to forget. So that's not good, right? So I'm going to teach you the right method of understanding how to remember this cations test for, sorry, with ammonium hydroxide and sodium hydroxide. Now, I also would like to tell you that I'm not reading any computer screen or we have not rehearsed. This is just naturally done. So, if there is any slip of tongue, I sincerely apologize for it. Okay, so let's, let's go to the board, right? So, when we do this test, alright, cat ion, okay, we test by using Sodium hydroxide and ammonia solution. Now, ammonia solution is also known as ammonium hydroxide. First of all, first of all, there are two parts involved here. Number one will be add a little, then continued by add excess. Many students do not understand what's the meaning of add a little and add excess. Okay, let me explain to you. Now, assuming, let's say, you have that particular salt that you want to test. Can you see? This is the salt that you want to test. Alright? So, add a little means, you add the equal amount. That means the height here. Okay? Approximately, you add the same height as well. Approximately. Uh, this is, means add a little. Means what? Either add a little sodium hydroxide or add a little of ammonia solution. Then, this is continued by adding in excess. What is it meant by adding in excess? Just add more. Can you see that, students? 
just add more. That means it can be three times more, right? Than the height of the initial salt solution. That is the meaning of adding excess. So I hope I have cleared this doubt for you because many people do not understand. Okay. Now the second part is that how do you remember? Okay, how do you remember? Right? So only certain cations are tested in your examination. Okay, so those cations that you need to know would be zinc, right? Lead, aluminium, calcium, ferrum 2, ferrum 3, okay, uh, copper. Uh, these are those which will be tested in your exam. Okay, so students, now there will be two parts here. One part will be okay, add a little, and the second part will be add in excess. Okay, so one will be for sodium hydroxide, another one will be for ammonia solution. So, again. This is roughly the table that will be given in your reference books and you basically memorize it. So that is not the right way that I teach to my students. So what is the easier, simpler, faster way? Alright, let me go to the board and explain to you. So what I will do is I remember an acronym students, an acronym. What is the acronym? Simple. Z Pam K F F A K. I repeat again. Z Pam Cafe. Right? Z Z I Pam P A M. The P is for land. Cafe Calcium. F E Cafe yeah? C A F E right? F E for parent two. F A again parent three. K C U. Can you see that now? So I remember this acronym. Zipa Cafe FAK. Simple, right? Okay, next what I do, I quickly break it into two rows. I break it into two rows. Then I quickly make columns. Can you see what it is? Alright, columns. Okay? I make columns. Alright. Now, very quickly what I do, I put up here sodium hydroxide. And at the bottom, I put ammonia. So this ammonia is ammonia solution. Okay? So re I repeat again for you, yeah? Z Pam Cafe FAK. Z Pam Cafe FAK. And followed by Big Bad Ghost. Haha, <laughs> so right? I repeat, I put in the center here Big Bad Ghost. Can you see it now? Okay? Z Palm Cafe B Bad Ghost. Alright? Okay, there is a short, small mistake over here. Let me erase that for you again. Alright? Sorry for that. Okay, let me erase that again for you. Alright, as you can see, alright, there is a column. There's a row, sorry, a column here, a column here, and a column here. Alright? And there is another column here, right? Okay, so I put here B. Bad goes. Okay, let me repeat it for you. The last three columns. B bad goes from the back to the front. Can you see that answer? There? So I repeat again. The acronym that you have to remember will be Z Pam Cafe F A K B Bad Goes. So what is this all about? Alright, let's go back to the table students. So very quickly what I do, I put an L. Right, an L shape. Or if you have played chess, C H E S S, okay, the movement of a horse is in an L shape. Means what? One box, right? I put a tick here, one box, and one, two, three boxes. Can you see that, students? An L shape. Okay, I have formed a L shape or movement of a horse. Then what I do is quickly, 
I go to the right hand, okay, the bottom over here. Can you see that, students? Right, the right hand. Okay, let me draw this nicely for you so that you can see it clearly. Okay, the right hand, the bottom, I put a tick as well. Can you see that? Now, the rest of the spaces, what I do is I quickly I put cross. Can you see now? I put all cross in the rest of the remaining places. Okay, so I repeat that for you again, students. Very quickly, what I do is that I remember this acronym Z Pam Cafe F A K. From the last three column, big bad goes. Can you see it now? So I put sodium hydroxide above. I put ammonia below. Okay. Then what I quickly I do is that I go in a movement of a horse in the game of chess, or I form an L. Can you see that? I put all rights. And quickly I go to the right hand corner, the bottom. I put a tick as well. Okay. All the other spaces I put crosses. Can you see that? What does this mean? All these ticks here, students, means that wine precipitate. So tick means what, students? Wine precipitate. Right? That dissolves. Okay, dissolves in excess. Either excess sodium hydroxide or excess ammonia solution to form to form colorless solution. Colorless solution. That's right. So all the thick here. Can you see all the thick here? Means what? It dissolves in excess. All right, and it forms colorless solution. Except for the last one. Can you see here? The last one, that's why there is a B here. Can you see? So here alone, the B means blue. So here you just have to remember dark blue solution. Uh, can you see that students? Dark blue solution. Okay? Now, the rest of it students over here, the cross, all this cross means it forms precipitate. It forms precipitate that does not dissolve in excess. That's the meaning. Okay. So as you can see here, here white precipitate, also here white precipitate. All right. That does not dissolve in excess. The one that I put here, the B. All right. And the G here. Okay. So I repeat again. Here white precipitate, here white precipitate that does not dissolve in excess. And the one that I given you G here, this would be dark green precipitate that does not dissolve in excess. And over here, the B here, brown precipitate that does not dissolve in excess. Only one simple difference here would be for here, which is the copper ion. For copper ion, it forms. A dark, sorry, a blue precipitate in sodium hydroxide. Okay, that does not dissolve in excess sodium hydroxide solution. But for over here, all right, in with ammonia solution, it dissolves in excess to form dark blue solution. Can you see that, students? So I basically simplified the entire chart for you and given it in a simpler form. I hope you understand, right? So this is the easier method for you to understand the test, the qualitative test for cations. Okay, students. So if there is any further queries, you can contact me at. Zero one two six eight zero five nine zero zero. I repeat it again. Zero one two six eight zero five nine zero zero.
I'll be more than glad to help you. Perhaps when you look at this video the first time, you will not get it. You have to look at it three, four times. Okay? And you will understand the concept. Right? So, you can also contact me students because I'll be holding some special tutorial classes where I'll be giving more examples, I'll be giving more easy techniques to understand. So, you can benefit from these tutorials. Right? It is really wonderful. Lot of students have attended for the program and they have benefited from it. I hope you would also do that. Okay? Normally, my tutorials are during the weekend. So, you don't have any issue over there, I suppose. Right? And on top of that, students, you can also go to my website www.rakan.edu.my for further information. Okay, students? And please do not forget, students, if you like this video, what I have done for you, the, way, the manner that I have simplified, the whole uh, qualitative cation test for you, you can like the video. Please do inform your friends about this video so that they can also benefit from it. Remember, students, I always say this sharing is sharing. The more you give, the more you get. Until then, students, this is Vijay, your chemistry teacher for the day, signing off. Bye, students.